Understanding the phrase, props to, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic to discuss that I believe will be very useful for those of you looking to expand your English vocabulary and understand common phrases used in daily conversations. We are going to delve into the meaning, usage, and origins of the phrase, props to. So, let's get started. The phrase, props to, is a slang term used to give praise or recognition to someone. It is often used to acknowledge someone's skills, achievements, or good deeds. For example, if a friend did really well on a difficult test, you might say, props to you for acing that exam. It's a way of saying, well done, or congratulations, in a more informal and friendly manner. The term, props, actually comes from the word, propers, which is a shortened form of the word, proper respect, or proper recognition. It's believed to have originated in the hip-hop community in the late 20th century, and has since become widely used in general conversation, especially among younger generations. Using props to in a sentence is quite straightforward. You simply say props to, followed by the person or group of people you are giving recognition to. Here are a few examples. 1. Props to Sarah for helping me move last weekend. I couldn't have done it without her. 2. The whole team deserves props for finishing the project ahead of schedule. 3. Props to everyone who participated in the charity run. You've all done a fantastic job. Notice that in all these examples, props to is used to acknowledge and praise the efforts, skills, or good deeds of others. While props to is the most common form of this phrase, there are a few variations that you might come across. For instance, some people might simply say, props, without the to, especially if it's clear who the recognition is being directed towards. Others might use the phrase, mad props, to give a stronger sense of praise or recognition. And that wraps up our discussion on the phrase, props to. We hope this video has helped clear up any confusion you might have had about this phrase and that you feel more confident using it in your own conversations. Remember, language is always evolving, and staying on top of slang and informal phrases like this one is a great way to keep your English skills sharp and connect with others. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep on learning!